Providing alternatives to fossil fuels is essential if we are to live sustainably in the future. One answer to this is hydrogen, which is a non-carbon fuel. Innovan, part of the INEOS group, is involved in many projects to accelerate the use of hydrogen across Europe and to work towards the UK net zero targets. Since the early 19th century, this British community has been built on chemical production. And now it's innovation being created here at Innovin, part of the INEOS Group on the banks of the Mersey, that could hold the key to a sustainable environmental future for the UK and Europe through the production and storage of hydrogen, which has a huge role to play in the transition to a carbon neutral economy. The future in the UK, we have to achieve net zero. We cannot continue to allow the climate to deteriorate. Here at Runcom, we've been making hydrogen for over 100 years. Um, we've been making it on our electrolysis plants. We, the hydrogen we make, we burn in our boilers already to make steam for the site. The hydrogen we make, we export. And so we've got 100 years of experience of safely manufacturing and handling hydrogen. And now we need to look at how we move that forward. We've been talking about using hydrogen in a broader sense for many, many years. Now is the time to do something about it. Um, we can't just carry on talking, we need to do something. The use of hydrogen to decarbonise industry, fuel, clean transport and logistics and provide heat and power for our homes is vital in the drive to net zero, as low carbon hydrogen sourced by renewable energy doesn't emit CO2 emissions, making a carbon free future possible. A hydrogen fueled economy is finally within reach. An investment here at Innovin in Runcorn in the northwest of England could accelerate the use of hydrogen across the whole of Europe. Innovin's Ulla Rab and Walter Blöck explained how European projects and new innovations already underway will support the development of hydrogen demand across the continent. In our site in Raffnes in Norway, uh, we will build a 20 megawatt um, water electrolysis, which will um, produce green hydrogen to fuel our own operations and at the same time provide hydrogen to mobility applications uh, in the area. So all in all, this will save more than 22,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide per year. One of the products that we would like to develop is green ammonia. We are already an ammonia producer today, but if we can produce green hydrogen, this green ammonia can then be used for the production of other chemical products, which will then also be carbon free, or the green ammonia can be used as a new fuel for the future. So on one hand, we make a product green, which is today not green at all. By making it green, we develop new applications like fuel for maritime shipping. And at the same time, it will save around 80 to 100,000 tons of CO2 emissions per year. Storing hydrogen safely will be key to supplying energy networks. Innovin's development project manager, Richard Stevenson, explained. The hydrogen will be stored in a cavern that's about 350,000 metre cubed, which is about twice the size of the Albert Hall. And how big is this project going to get? Tell me about HiNet. So HiNet is the northwest answer to the net zero decarbonising agenda. Um, it's a really innovative project that's going to allow the decarbonisation of the northwest industry. For us, we, our part is to provide 1.3 terawatt hours of storage, which is 19 salt caverns on the whole for Grindfield. For decades, a carbon neutral economy has seemed out of reach, but innovation here could make a climate neutral economy not just a hope, but a reality.